Hey guys and welcome back to part 2 of creating a warning screen in SwiftUI In um, the last um, tutorial of this we um, added our assets, our images and some colours And we went through, we added our step in, um, we created our background colour, we did add the second background but I have deleted that one in the last video and we've just created some text which is this text here in this tutorial we are going to be adding our images and kind of getting the steps together for that um, I don't want this video to drag out that far um, so this also might be in a two, ste two stepper um, but we'll see how we go, we'll see how we go in here, so let's just get right onto it, I'm going to add a This is where we're going to basically put our images in a row, um, and we want to put them also in a Z stack um, because we are going to add text along with our images. And we're going to give this some spacing of about 40. Okay, so in here. And then um, three images that we're going to be using, and our first image, which is P1, and there it is on the screen. And we also want to add some text in here as well. I'm going to say learn. Um, the future development yes, there we go um, well, a quick question for you guys do you think SwiftUI is the future of iOS development or or not let me know what you think on that one and we're going to add some padding to our text here and we are going to also add in a animation now you see as this is all fine here now and when we press step 2 everything kind of makes in very nicely all very nice here with the image having the animation and the text so now we're going to create our animation First animation, animation, and we're going to say um, animate animation and dot in. Yep, this one. No, not this one, sorry. In. This one here. There we go, we want the strength and the dampening. And we're going to say this is about 40. And the dampening, I'm going to give about 7. But we do want also a delay on here. Because we do not want um, everything just swooping over without a delay because it'd be too fast and there'd just be no point even having any kind of animation on because you wouldn't be able to see so um, I'm going to bring this over again and now I we want to put this in a frame so we do not have you know everything you know, one image up there, one image down here, and all the text. Um, 
Um, right. So, we're going to say pray. Is the geometry now? Right um, frame again, and we're gonna say move this over in dot global. Yeah, it is now, and then we're gonna say width, and this is basically just keeping everything together and making sure that the images and the, and the text is actually fit on the screen as you can see here the, the light blue box around the image and the text to make sure that we're not you know going off the screen at any time and everything is just nice and compact and in so we are going to just copy this what we've done here still making sure that we are in our h deck and we're just going to go down one and again two and we're just going to change images to two and two three so let's go over to step two and the text that we are going to have in here is the best way to get your you are looking the um the best way to get your UI um to how you wanted it to look like when first designed I guess designed there we go if that makes any sense um, and then the final stage is master swift UI master not capital swift UI Oh dear. And then to day, I don't know what I keep on toggling it with that capital the caps lock there. <laughs> right, so what we've got to do here with um, it, the second lot of images image one, well, two and three, we need to give them a fixed size. Um, and we're not going to um, edit anything else because we still want the padding, the spacing to be the same on the base deck. We still want the padding. We also still want the same animation and we also want them to be inside the frame so they do not go outside. So, all I'm going to do after the padding is fix size, and we are going to say horizontal. There we go, and we're going to say false. So this is going to keep them inside going a lot going across like this without them showing before we actually want them to Just paste that in here right then so as you can see this is our entire v stack that goes along it's got all of our images in and our text but our text is not white um, and this, you know, it's not big enough, it's black, it's small, it's not centered. Um, so we are going to do this now. 
Um, so first we're gonna say um, multi line text alignment and we want to say center here this is going to center our text and we want to give this a color which is going to be this one which we've used already so I'm just going to copy and pull this down copy and paste this down in here so our text is both indeed the same color um, because we do not want this to be a different shade and the font is going to be um, just a title because we do not want it to be that large because it's not a heading like these ones are these are titles, this is just standard text so we could actually have it smaller but for the sake of not changing anything we are just going to go with this and now we're going to say padding and we want to add some vertical padding on here of about 60 we want to bring it all in so it's nice and tight and we got enough room between the top and the bottom of the middle space that we are working with here and I'll bring this down um, now we are um, we are now going to manage um, our image and our text if it was on a bigger phone. So we're going to say frame. Um, we're going to go with gr dot frame, and we're going to say in dot globe and we're gonna say width oh sorry dot width um is times three so this is basically gonna um you basically it's gonna play with the HDAC and when we're on a bigger view so when we're on the iPhone we're currently putting our similar on iPhone 11 but when we are on iPhone Pro Max it's going to make the HDAC three times bigger so our so when we are in Xcode and we're on a bigger device we tend to use the 3x right but if we have got a 3x image for our image this is going to help our image look like it's supposed to be in a 3x okay um, and it does this very cleanly as well so it's no there's no need to worry about if things are going to look um, pixelated and we're just going to comment this out and makes h stack 3x width 4 4 D vice okie doke and I'm actually going to get rid of that because I don't like it there um, and now we're also going to add another frame in here Now we're going to give this a max height because we don't want it to be too high and going all over the place with things. Okay, then we're going to say there we go. 
so it keeps us in our bounds of using this and this because this is going to get pushed up when we add the buttons in here anyway so this we're still keeping that kind of 40 spacing between each and it's going to look really nice oh, oh I'm sorry my bad we'll fix that real quick and now we're going to add an offset in here and basically this is where our steps come along that we did in the last video with our state and this is going to show us now if we're on step one two three okay then so oh not capital X and we're going to say self dot step is equal to one or gr dot frame in globe oh. I'm going to say dot width here and now we're going to say self dot step is equal to two and now we're going to say minus tr dot frame in with also with the width so basically what this is going to do for us is make sure that our um, images are not showing too early that we're also keeping it within the frame so when we so when we do our animation on here that the other step is also not swinging into view as well because you see how all this would move all this is moving all the time um, and we don't want to, to show any of the next step in this. So this is what this is doing. There we go. Fix that there. So Xcode stops complaining at me. And you see now that we have got our nice spacing in here. Like I said, everything will be pushed up um, when we get round to doing um, the buttons later. So now I'm just going to add an animation to this section and I think we will call this time on this video then. Animation. In fact, it's actually, we're going to be using the same one but without the delay. I'm gonna get rid of the delay here. Um, but I am going to keep this all the same. We might change this to eight. In fact, I'm going to change this to eight now. We're going to give this a quick run and see what we are working with. Well, it's going to load up anyway, unless we we can't actually see anything. But we do know that we are on step one at least. Um, so I'm going to call it this for this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we will create our buttons to move from step to step to step and conclude with our nice little popping continue button there um, thank you for joining me today on this with this tutorial um, I hope you have enjoyed this so far and if you have please like comment and subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.